Hey guys, welcome back to a rainy, fairly cold Tuesday evening. So I thought it was a good opportunity to come out to the garage and pour up a glass of my Anzac Biscuit Ale. So it's just come straight off the keg. Um, it's been in the keg for almost three weeks, I think it is. Um, and you may have seen a photo of this beer I put up on uh, YouTube yesterday. So yeah, here's the video of it. So first up, very happy with that colour, sort of a nice brown, almost bordering onto sort of some orange hues there. I don't know if that's coming through on the video. Uh, it's cleared up nicely as well. Uh, it's not crystal clear, but um, you can see my hand through the back. And it's holding onto a nice uh, creamy white cap. Nice tight bubbles on the top, so yeah, pretty happy with the uh, how it's turned out appearance-wise. Um, so before we dive in, I'll just talk about a couple of tweaks I made. So the original recipe is from Keekland, and I'll put a link um, below in the video description to that. Uh, like the sound sound of it. So I've just made a couple of tweaks. Obviously, I do um, half batches, but um, just swapped out a couple of things. Uh, so I've used the bulk of it's ale malt, Munich malt, um, some biscuit malt. Uh, in the Kegland recipe they use big o oaten malt, so I swapped them out for golden oats. Golden oats have a, are a more kilned version, a little bit more sweetness and also uh, helping contribute to that nice sort of slightly orange hue, which I thought would go well. For because uh, Anzac Biscuits, it sort of re just reminded me of Anzac Biscuits anyway, the golden notes. Um, golden syrup, uh, as per the recipe, coconuts, which is toasted. I think in the Kegland recipe for a full batch, they said to use 100 grams. I actually used 100 grams in my half batch, just as like a hop stand. And then I use Raquel hops, they use Malba. Um, and then the BRY97 yeast. So yeah, check out the uh, full uh, recipe below. Uh, mine came out at 4.6%. Like I say, it's been in the keg for about three weeks. So cheers guys, I hope your week's going well. We will get a, get a nose on it. Sorry, just stop an alarm on my phone. So yeah, get a nose on it. Oh, I can pick up that coconut on the nose. It's fairly subtle the beer is quite cold but I'm getting some nice um, malt sweetness almost a bit of toffee and a nice sort of biscuity aroma from that biscuit malt so it smells really inviting so that's a that's always a good sign so we will dive in First up, tastes really delicious. I have had a few glasses already, um, not today, but in previous days. Um, first up, that coconut is coming through more on the flavor. Uh, seems to come through more as the beer warms up. Um, but yeah, it's got a real nice toasted coconut flavor coming through. And then that sort of um, the golden syrup, the sweet sort of um, toffee, caramel sort of um, flavor um, from the malts and then that a nice sort of biscuity background to it as well um, when I first tried a glass of this it did remind me a lot uh, flavor wise of some of the flavors that I got through on the Anzac biscuits uh, which Mrs. Dino kindly made for me on the day I actually did the brew brew day I'll put a link to the brew day video uh, so yeah, I'm definitely getting being reminded of the biscuits themselves and the flavour of the beer, which is really nice. I'll oh, pick up that coconut again. I think I would probably up the coconut a little bit more next time. You can add coconut um, post boil um, and or in the as a like a in the fermenter is like a dry hop addition. Um, I just decided to do a post boil addition. I didn't want to be transferring or, or adding coconut to the fermenter. 
Um, there's definitely some nice coconut there. It's not too overwhelming, but I think I possibly might bump it up, could pump it up another 50%. So I used 100 grams, maybe do 150 grams. I think the keg lamb recipe is definitely probably going to be quite light coconut wise. So I'd, I'd be tempted to double that up. Um, but yeah, some real nice malt flavor coming through. The, um, the golden oats, apart from adding the flavor, give a nice little bit of sweetness, but also give a nice creamy texture when you're drinking it and mouthfeel, uh, which is really nice. I think this is the first time I've used golden oats. Just thought I'd change things up and they, like I say, they sounded a little bit more in keeping with my idea of an Anzac biscuit flavor. Uh, so if you've never used them, give them a whirl. Um, as far as the hops, the Rakao, which is meant to be like a stone, stone fruit type flavor. Possibly a little bit hard to pick up, but maybe some... I was going to say like, um, like not a peach, but... Um, not an ape, maybe a slight apricot, maybe that could just be more the malts than the, than the hops. But yeah, I think the Rakao sort of just combined with the malts, and yeah, that they don't they're not sort of jumping out on their own. But um, the overall flavor is really nice. Um, got a nice semi dry back end, but not too dry, probably from the biscuit malt. It is, has got some nice sweetness, but not overly sweet, it's not cloying or anything, which I think would be a bit horrible. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with how that's turned out, to be honest, especially, you know, version one and making a couple of tweaks. Getting that biscuit malt on the nose is, and, um, and the coconut sort of filling the, um, space in the top of the glass and getting a bit more coconut coming through in the flavor as it's sort of warming up. So yeah, that's the, um, Anzac Biscuit Ale. Um, highly recommend giving it a, a try if you're looking for something a little bit different. Uh, if you want a sort of a you know nice sort of multi um, beer that's got some good flavors, um, it's, it's it's pretty easy to drink. Four point six percent. You could definitely um, session on this, so it's not heavy going at all. Um, yeah, just a nice. Um, yeah, nice easy drinker with some some good flavor and that coconut and golden syrup worked worked a treat in it so happy days okay guys i'll stop there uh, if you've got any questions sing out like i say check out the original recipe below um, and until next time drink good beer and enjoy the rest of your night or day or evening cheers guys